All right, you already know. So Javante Tank Davis shocked everybody last night with his press conference against Lamont Roach coming up in March. And he just, he pretty much said that he's going to retire in 2025. Now, this shocked a lot of people, including myself, because Javante Tank Davis basically said last year he got a big deal, a deal, a deal that's bigger than Floyd. I mean, bigger than Floyd's deal that he got with Showtime, his deal with Amazon Prime. But you don't really see fighters fighting like that. Some of these fighters ain't fought in multiple years or they come back and then they only fight once a year, once every other year. So there's been rumblings out there. The money funny over there on the PBC side. Then you got Turkey Alashik over there. He making all these big fights for $20 now, right? So this begs the question. We Tank, I think Tank just exposed the PBC. He also said he just frustrated with it. He frustrated with the politics. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. I seen Blue's video about it, talking about Javante Tank Davis is really frustrated with the PBC, but he's loyal to him. And it, it, it started to make sense. Is this why Floyd is still boxing exhibition fights? Having all these exhibitions? Is this is why you don't really see that fighters? And I did notice that it was kind of, the press conference was kind of empty. And Javante, he seemed kind of off about it at first, but he really didn't want to say why. And, you know, and he, he's been throwing out his frustrations with Floyd Mayweather and the PBC because he was signed to Floyd. Then I guess now he's not, but Al Heyman still is advisor. We got rumors that Al Heyman is, is missing out there. Sam Brick Glazer said that people try to reach out to Al Heyman multiple times, but they can't get a hold of him. He switch changed his number. And maybe Al Heyman did the ultimate finesse move in boxing, but... PBC, PBC is looking real bad out here. And I'm trying to figure out how did PBC go from free TV all the way down to where you, they're not even putting on cards. And I remember making a video about this a couple of months ago. Somebody was arguing with me about that, about as far as, oh man, oh, you don't know what's going on with the PBC. But what we do know, they don't have that. They don't have a schedule like that no more. The fights are very low budget. I didn't see people do press conferences. This is post COVID with just cell phones. They own Microsoft Teams or Zoom or whatever that they own. So, I mean, something, it just, it's something don't seem right over there. But I don't, I don't know. I know that the, I hear that there's a clause that people can't really say nothing bad about Al. So we'll just have to wait and see. But listen, I remember everybody on here, and including myself, I was one of the people like, man, how that guy, how really might be the guy that got him. So everybody who be talking about Don King and Bob Arum and all of that, but Al Heyman was praised. If this is true, Al Heyman ain't different than everybody else. But I mean, hey, maybe, maybe it'll, maybe PBC will let Tank out his deal, then he can go sign with Turkey Alashik, or they can do some type of co-promotion or whatever but y'all remember when tank said he wanted two ferraris just to talk to him just to even consider it he might be asking for two teslas now but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think